guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of the Ticketmaster X Taylor Swift Eras Tour Ticket Fiasco. So, I honestly did not think that I would be making another video about this. Tour is five weeks away from today. Tour starts five weeks from today and I am so excited, you guys. My serotonin levels are just up. Um, I am stoked. However, there is new information on the Ticketmaster situation. Fans are getting another chance to get tickets. Now, if you don't know, it was very hard for Taylor Swift fans to get tickets. There was a whole mess with verified fan. Ticketmaster was crashing. Some people didn't get in. Some people's codes didn't work and people waited hours in the queue. Nothing was left and ticket prices were so high and now they're listed on like StubHub, Vivid Seats, SeatGeek, sites like that for like thousands and thousands of dollars to the point where nobody can literally afford to go unless like their friends are selling tickets and stuff like that. So after that, of course, there were a lot of Taylor Swift fans, including myself. All of us were very like upset by this. We voiced those concerns. And so they pretty much said sorry. And then there was a situation where fans who were verified started to get requests. And those requests would be like, you would get an email for two Taylor Swift tickets and you had the chance to put in a request to buy them pretty much and you would select the price tier, you'd submit it, and then they'd tell you if you got tickets or not. So that was, what, a month ago? I feel like it was around Christmas somewhere. Somewhere in there, somewhere around the holidays that happened. So then today, randomly, people started saying, wait a minute, why did my mom just get an email or why did my friend just text me saying that she got an email I just got an email I'm so confused so pretty much and this is still developing I'm filming this pretty soon after this is occurring it's 345 on February 10th um, so I did want to update you guys because I know that you know people are trying to search on YouTube people are trying to search like on various platforms how to get a hold of these tickets so, from what I'm gathering so far, these second chance requests that are going out right now by Ticketmaster, they're starting off with Glendale, Arlington, and Las Vegas. So if you were verified and you have not gotten one yet, do not fret. Now, from what I gather, I have not seen anybody um, who was waitlisted to get one. Actually, somebody said that there was a rumor that somebody got one that was waitlisted, but I cannot confirm that at all. So I think the first time they sent them out back in like Christmas time frame, that request was if you were boosted. And those were fans who ha were boosted, meaning um, priority. Like they had bought Loverfest tickets, they had priority for Loverfest, and uh, they never got tickets so that's how a lot of fans ended up with that request now this request right now seems like just like if you weren't boosted but you got verified as a fan so I don't know exactly what's going on however I can tell you that Ticketmaster is saying that they are going to be issuing more emails for more venues throughout the upcoming weeks so I wanted to tell you guys this so you guys can be paying attention to your email just keep an eye on it check your spam if you were verified I would definitely pay attention to it but I have no idea if they are including waitlisted like I said as of right now it looks like no but that doesn't mean in the future that they might not I don't know if closer to tour like here in like four weeks or so like a week before tour if they're gonna open back up the Ticketmaster charts and like whatever comes available becomes available I don't know. Ticketmaster is saying it's sold out. However, there's still tickets, obviously. Um, somebody said that it was probably because they're starting to like finalize the stage where the sets are going to be and they're opening more seats like that. That's not confirmed also. There's a lot of speculation going on. But like I said, if you were verified and you were trying to get tickets, and I would even say if you are waitlisted I would just pay attention to your email and pay attention to Ticketmaster social media if you have Twitter you know 
that's a good source. So I'm just looking at this point. Let's see. People are saying they've submitted their requests. Like I said, Glendale, Las Vegas, and Arlington. So it's looking like they might be going in order of the tour dates, which makes sense because they're going to want to push out the ones that are soonest, you know, and have people secure tickets. So I'm going to read you what Ticketmaster said on Twitter. And all I can say is if you happen to get a code or not a code, if you happen to get a request email, if one of your friends is trying to look for tickets, I know a lot of fans like on Twitter are voicing, you know, they're, you know, Hey, I'm looking for two tickets to here or Hey, I'm looking for two tickets to here. Um, like there's so many fans looking for tickets so if you get that email definitely try and you already have tickets definitely try and like reach out and see if anybody needs some help also down below if you guys want to talk like hey um i need tickets to here you know if i get a code from here it's looking like also people are getting the request for their first city that was priority so for some reason I purchased tickets I okay so I got verified as a fan and I purchased tickets during pre-sale for Glendale now for some reason also I got one of those request emails and I think it's because I was priority because I'm not the only one that that happened to I think it's because I was also priority and I had Loverfest but I don't even know why I got that email like it didn't even make sense to me so with that I helped one of my friends get Glendale because I need three tickets if I'm going tonight to. Um, and that's the city and the date that I had requests for. And my friend had told me she was trying to find tickets. I was like, hey, you know, I just got a request. Use mine. Like, you just need two tickets. I need three. I can't use it for me. So, like, here you go. So, definitely... some Sometimes... Duncan really just makes the lattes good and sometimes they're not as good but today it's hitting I'm really glad I stopped but that is what I'll say on that so really really definitely make sure that you're looking and trying to help people I wish that they would open it up to waitlisted fans because I know a lot of people didn't even get the chance and I'm hoping that maybe after this, like after they finish with like the people who had been verified as a fan, like they'll move to the waitlisted category. I know I'm, I'm seeking out, like trying to help my best friend get tickets for Denver. I'm, I'm desperately like trying to help people because I know like this has been so difficult. Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to see who's selling what, who, it just keep an eye on Twitter era's tour resell i'm sure we'll also have some new ones popping up with all of this too because you know people might be upgrading their tickets or whatever like that i know i'm throwing a lot of information out there but okay Ticketmaster said invitations to request to purchase tickets for the taylor swift the era's tour in glendale arizona las vegas nevada and arlington texas were sent on february 10th 2023 everyone receiving this email has already everyone receiving this specific opportunity has already been emailed opportunities will be made available periodically over the next coming weeks for other shows any fans receiving those opportunities will be notified via email i, I felt somebody in like my peripheral vision i was like who is that um how was I selected for this opportunity? Ticketmaster and the artist team have worked to provide this opportunity for as many fans who were included in the initial verified presale but did not receive a code to purchase tickets. Due to demand, there is no way to provide this opportunity to everyone. Um, opportunities will be come sent out periodically. What happens after you submit the request? We'll send you a summary email that shows you the details of the show and the requested purchase your card won't be charged at this time after the request window has closed we will send you an email and let you know if your request was confirmed refunds and exchanges aren't available so avoid requesting tickets that you don't wish to purchase okay and so everything is on Ticketmaster's blog. I'll actually link it down below um, so you guys can read it yourself and if you have any questions 
definitely check out their blog. There's a lot of, you know, like I said, Twitter information going around and there's a lot of information in general going around. So definitely just kind of like stay tuned to social media is the best I can say and stay tuned, like, you know, text your friends and yeah, that's, <laughs> it's so hard. Like I really didn't think I knew getting tickets to this tour would be insanely difficult, but I did not think it was going to be like this. So, but here we are. And like I said, if you happen to get a request that you're not using, just try and reach out to a fan because I know there's so many fans for every single city that's desperately looking for tickets and cannot afford the resale prices. So definitely stay tuned and I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope and I wish the best of luck to every single one of you. We all want to see Taylor and you know, I know this process has just been really, really daunting, but <laughs> I love you guys. I hope this video informed you in some way. Usually I say entertains you, but I'll say, I hope, but I'll say informed this time because I, I hope this video somehow helps you. Um, but I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. And I hope to see you. Yes, yeah, you in the next one. Bye, guys.